spring is here. So we decided to make a video listing the 15 best targets uh, for spring. We did not include the very hard ones, or the paid ones or the tiny ones. So you can capture them all if you're a beginner or uh, advanced. And uh, yeah. So spring is best known as the galaxy season, so be prepared to see a lot of other worlds. Let's get to it. Let's start off big with Markarian's chain. Markarian's chain, a bunch of galaxies forming a chain. You can find this beautiful layout in the Virgo constellation. The Markarian's chain is easy to see with any small telescope, and this cluster of worlds will make for a very impressive picture. My favorite of them? The ice galaxies, staring at you from a distance of 52 million light years. There you have it, the 15 plus targets of spring. Uh, Dahlia, no, we can't do that. We need to give them 14 more entire targets, so let's get to it. The Sombrero Galaxy. This is one of the simplest yet coolest looking galaxies out there. From Earth, we see it edge on, giving it the look of a sombrero hat. The Rosette Nebula. This is a nebula full of hydrogen alpha, so it's easier if you have a CCD camera or a modified DSLR. If you have neither, capture it anyway. You'll go back to it once you upgrade your equipment. The Pinwheel Galaxy. You can see us capture this galaxy in episode 1 of Galactic Hunter. You will learn all about it and see what just a couple hours of imaging can result in. Leo Triplet. The famous Leo Triplet consists of two Messier galaxies, M65 and M66, as well as NGC 3628. This is a pretty easy target. The only challenge is to bring the detail in each galaxy. The Sunflower Galaxy. There is no need to explain why this beauty is named after a flower. This is the kind of galaxy you take a picture of and give to your girlfriend for Valentine's Day. M81 and M82. Two neighbor galaxies. M82, the cigar galaxy, is one of our top favorite galaxies. And you don't need to smoke to be in love with this fire-looking red explosion from its center. Those two are very easy targets for a beginner. The Owl Nebula. It's funny because it does not look like an owl at all. When William Parson discovered it back in 1781, his hand drawing looked like an owl head. This is a pretty small and dim target, so it's not an easy one. We might visit it soon on Galactic Hunter, but our focus will not be on the nebula itself, it will be on something much crazier. Oh, and you can also get the surfboard galaxy which is right next to it. The Whale Galaxy This galaxy has a slightly distorted edge, so when we see it from Earth, we see it from its side, making it look like a whale. This is also a dim galaxy, so keep it near the bottom of this list if you are just starting out in astrophotography. The Whirlpool Galaxy, a very easy one for beginners. One of the best examples of what happens when two galaxies collide. You can see the bigger one eating the smaller one in a fiery spin. The Jellyfish Nebula. This impressive nebula was born from the remains of a supernova that also gave birth to a neutron star. The picture you see right now is taken with the DSLR. If you have a CCD camera, you can instead get this. Gotta love the Hubble palette with its CCD cameras. The Needle Galaxy. One more perfect example of a galaxy seen age on. A good reason to photograph it is its two satellite galaxies. Challenge yourself to have all three visible enough in your image. M64, or the Black Eye Galaxy, or the Evil Eye Galaxy, 
or the Sleeping Beauty galaxy. It kind of looks impressive. Sadly, an amateur photo will not look nearly as good as Hubble's. It will look rather like this. Still a pretty good target though. M106 is not a very famous target, probably because it doesn't have a nickname, but it has a very unique form that puts it in my favorite galaxies of spring season. It also has several galaxies around it. Thor's helmet, our favorite nebula of the season. Thor's helmet really does look like Thor's helmet. It is a faint target, but its colors really pop with a DSLR camera, so give it a try before it's gone. Okay, that is it for spring. Uh, let us know if you like this video, and we can do a new one for each season this year. Yeah. Just a reminder that episode 5 of Galactic Hunter is in the editing process, so that'll be out soon. And don't forget to visit galactichunter.com and see our Messier catalog grow. Alright, we'll see you next time.